An overview of dates in Arctos. So dates in Arctos are expressed using verbatim date, begin and end date fields. And these three fields are used in order to preserve the original format that a date was recorded in, to express any uncertainty in dates or date ranges, and to help users query dates, especially those that are vague. So the verbatim date field is just that. It reflects how the date was originally documented by the collector or maker and it can handle alpha and numeric characters as well as non-preferred date formats. So let's say I have something documented as collected on 3.14.18. This is a non-preferred date format and even though it's not in the ISO format, I can at least keep it documented in verbatim date, click this arrow, and that will reformat it in the year, 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 month, month, day, day format that is required in Arctos. And begin and end date in this case will be identical because it reflects a single day in time. However, if I did have collections that were made over multiple days and I had a date range, I could use begin and end date to um, reflect that, that span of time. And similarly, these three fields are really nice in documenting vague dates. So let's say I have a bird that was collected in spring 1903. I can then delimit that chunk of time by putting in different end and begin dates. 1903, 6, 21 or something to that effect. Um, and that way, a researcher who maybe is querying birds collected during May 1903 will have this result re returned rather than if we had just left the verbatim date, which is um, le way less information. Um, another common date circumstance you might run into are unknown dates. And so you can convey those using the verbatim date field. So if you have a, a collection object that you're not sure of the date it was collected or made, you can at least say before and enter today's date because you have it in hand, or you can get a little bit more precise by um, looking up the day it was donated, or perhaps the at least the date of death of the collector or maker as an as a end date. Um, there's sort of a lot of ways to go about it, um, but Begin date is a little bit more difficult, um, and so it's really up to your institution, the policy you have for that. Perhaps it's the date of birth of the collector or maker, or minus 50 or 100 years from the date of donation. Um, but a lot of institutions will use a placeholder. Often it might be something like 1800 um, or just 1800 or 1700 if you have collections that really uh, go back far that you, you don't want to overlap with. Um, but I recommend looking at documentation for dates, and there's a really nice table that kind of goes over different um, ways to express uncertainty in dates. Um, and finally, just some last tips I have um, for dates. So uh, you can You'll probably notice if you've entered any data, there are many date fields on the data entry page. And so let's just say I have this date. I can actually just fill this out and push this copy to all hypertext, and that will populate it everywhere on your screen. And sometimes you might need to alter that, um, but in general, it's really helpful so you're not having to retype that in multiple times. Uh, one place that you'll, you might actually need to change this is say you have something collected on one day, but it was prepared, you know, years later, um, you can adjust that in the attribute date when you're maybe specifying different um, measurements or different attributes and push the sync button. And so all the dates in my column here will actually be synced to my new date. And that saves some time. Um, another tip for you if you are loading dates in through the bulk loader is um, Excel is very finicky about date formats and um, so if I have a verbatim date field that has dates that look like this and I want to sort of get them in the standard ISO format I'll of course 
keep that verbatim date field, but then in my begin and end dates or attribute dates or collect dates, um, I can change that. So I'll highlight my column, I'll click format cells, and rather than going into date, I'll actually go to custom, and then I'll type in that ISO format right here, and year, 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 month, month, day, day. I think I missed a Y there. There we go. Um, year, 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 yes. Okay, and you'll see they were immediately updated to the preferred format. So there's some tips. Good luck.